Well, police say they are working this case around the clock, but at this point, they are still not naming any suspects or giving any possible descriptions of getaway vehicles. Police have referred to this both as a drive-by shooting and as a mass shooting. Here's what we learned from investigators today at a news conference. They said tracking the number of victims has been confusing, evolving over the past few days. Today, we learned there were 27 people who were shot, including Lateris Cook, who was killed. Two men remain in critical condition. Everyone else is either in stable condition or has been released. Police also reveal that they have now recovered 45 shell casings from at least five guns, including from a rifle, and that at least one person at the party fired back. Three guns were recovered in the area of Kelly Avenue and 8th Avenue, where the shooting erupted just after midnight on Sunday, and those guns are all being tested for evidence. Police say they have at least 70 hours of body camera video to go through, and they're working on releasing that as soon as they can. Asked if the city was any closer to making an arrest in this high profile case, the mayor had this to say. I'm really confident at that. We can't, you know, promise you an outcome or promise you a specific time, but we are working on this with, with every resource that we have. Um, and we're meeting regularly, uh, uh, several times a day about this. Um, and so we are, we are focused on, on holding someone accountable here. And the city says it's working with local clergy and mental health agencies to help all of the residents in that area through this very difficult time. That includes a prayer vigil that is scheduled at 630 tonight at Arlington Church of God. That's in East Akron. Live in Akron tonight, Bob Jones, News 5.